this is. This is for number 21 on module 7 homework. A food manufacturer claims that eating is new cereal as part of a daily diet lowers total blood cholesterol level. So what they are saying is, is before is higher, after is lower. Okay, so you know what they are claiming is that, um, you know, what they are saying over here, that very first sentence, that makes it an alternative hypothesis. Okay, because when you are comparing two samples, okay, when you're doing a test about two population mean, the null is always assuming that there is no change. Okay, but when they said that this will lower the total blood cholesterol level, we're going from a higher number to a smaller number. So um, the alternative is saying that. No, all right, let me see. If it lowers, I'm gonna go ahead and write some things down so that I don't confuse myself. So if it lowers, I'm gonna make up a fake number, okay? Say that you start with before number is 200, okay? After number is, let's say, just make it up. Um, if you're going from higher number to lower number, blood cholesterol being lowered, maybe I can go from 200 to 180, okay? What will happen if you do before minus after? You will do 200 minus 180, right? And that comes out to be positive 20, okay? So the claim being made over here is assuming that the difference, the difference is going to be positive, okay? And this, and this claim being made is the alternative hypothesis. So which one of these four is saying that the alternative is assuming that difference is positive? Only this one, okay? So that's the alternative hypothesis being made. So the null has to be, well, it didn't really change the blood cholesterol level or it actually increased the blood cholesterol level. So that will be the null hypothesis. So if I work for this food manufacturer, I really, really want to reject this claim because if, you know, is this drug or food? If the cereal is uh, increasing people's blood cholesterol or keeping it the same, you know, people probably don't want to buy this cereal, right? So... All right, let's go find the standardized test statistics. And just, I'm gonna go ahead and use this technology and do this. So again, this is pair data, isn't it? Because it's going from before to after. So this 200 is paired to 190. So it must be like, what, seven different people, right? Because if you think about it, I tend to have higher blood cholesterol, uh, not blood cholesterol, like like blood pressure I do. So um, there's individual differences and paired sample or dependent sampling is really just a great way to control for these individual differences. So I'm going to go ahead and open up stat, tstat, paired, because we're working with paired data. Tell them that the first sample is before, second sample is after, and we are testing um, that the difference is greater than zero, and that should be the alternative. And I really can't change the symbol for the null hypothesis, but that will just do. This will do. Complete. A uh, compute. And here is the standardized test statistic, 1.808. And the p-value is... Where did you go? Oh, I've got so many tabs open. Not this one, right? Ah, here it is, 0 0.06. It's almost good. It's not that good. Why? Uh, oh, whoopsie daisies. I always do that. My Apple mouse, you know. My Apple mouse always does that. Did I close this? Oh, no, I closed it. All right, let me try again. It's easy, right? It's just, you know, click, 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 but. So that's the T stat. And the P value is, please do not click on the wrong button. I'm going to, this. And what are we comparing this to? Because compared to 10%, that's smaller, but compared to 5% or 1%, that's bigger. So what was the alpha they want us to use? Oh, alpha they wanted us to use was 0 0.05. Unfortunately, 6% is greater than 5%. So we're going to have to say that we failed to reject. So we failed to reject the null. There is not sufficient evidence. And whenever, like I said, whenever that p-value is big, we just don't have evidence, okay? 
Um, there is so is this a good news for them? Let's see. There is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the new cereal lowers the to total blood cholesterol level. Mm. So it's not a good news for them. Okay, so what is a cereal doing? Is it increasing people's blood cholesterol level or is it keeping it the same? It's probably just not making any difference. But that's how you can do question number 21 on module 7 homework.